Hello, this is Gigi from Gigi's channel. Today I'm going to show you the benefits of using data form to enter data in Excel. This will be very helpful for anyone who needs to enter data into large Excel spreadsheet. When a row of data is very wide and requires repeated horizontal scrolling, consider using a data form to add, edit, find, and delete rows. So how we are going to make it? There are two steps involved for this process. The first step is we have to select any of the cell and then insert and an insert. We are going to insert a table and make sure we have everything selected. Where's the data of your table? Starts with A1 all the way to J3 and also make sure select my table has Herders, check in that. Always make sure do that. So that is already done. The first step is done. So now we are going to do the important step. So go to File. Under File, we see many menus, but click on to Options. And we are going to customize a ribbon here. I will show you what is that. So right now, we, these are the popular commands in the Excel and we are going to add a new command commands not in the ribbon and we are going to take one of these here and move to this tab right customize ribbon so before we do that we need to add a new tab here so we need to add a new tab and the new tab is going to be we have to rename it that tab is going to be data entry and data entry and click OK and right now there is one more is nothing but here it's going to be everything is see whatever you see here is the main tab and under the main tab if you look at design there are table names summarize the table pivot table like that and we are going to create one more group and that group is going to be data entry form so but you can always put any other name but for your easy recognition it's better to put a name that can recognize faster so click on OK so that is done so the next step we need to find the command which command we are looking for we are looking for form okay where is form form is right here and we are going to add that form to the data and reform add it and then click OK so that is created where is that this is a data entry and here is the form now we are going to add more data here so click on to one of the cells and uh, click on to form and we already have some information here if you scroll down you could see the second row Steve Williams and uh, how we are going to add a new row here we just click on to new and we are going to put the teacher's name first name Jolly and the teacher last name Marco student first name as Paul student last name Williams and he is in second grade and his address is 12847 Dry Land Road and his city is Baltimore and a state is Maryland and the zip code is 20511 and his phone number is 1238445631 that's already added here so if you need to enter it just scroll it down and that information is already added 
So this is on row number four. We have that information here. And now later we find out found out that there is a mistake. Maybe there is a typo in any of the row. How we are going to do that? We need to find it because you know uh, if there are so many data in this sheet, maybe 200 rows, 100 rows, how we are going to find it? So we need to go to criteria to find the data and we are going to put a teacher first name as Jolie, J-O-L-L-Y and uh, enter and the Jolie Marco it's already there and now we need to edit it like we need to make some changes here how we are going to make some changes on the student last name it was supposed to be William but uh, we made a typo it came as Williams how we are going to do it you just need to take off that yes and that is going to be changed that's already done. So that's it. All other things in the menu, you know that new, if you want to enter a new data and find previous, if you want to find the previous name, fineness criteria is used for search and then close it. That's it. That's about data form. Once again, thank you for watching this video.